off and for a feather channel. In this video, I'm going to be headed back east to get after some whitetail deer with my boys Kyle and Sean. And it's opening day, so stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. We'll see you out there. It's about go time, baby. About time? Oh, yeah. It's about that time. Right? Hell yeah, we always do. That's what I like to hear. Of course, as usual, I'm ready like an hour before everyone. <laughs> that is it's usual. It's usual, but it's alright. We're still gonna get after it. Dude, they're not gonna they're not gonna see it coming. Nope. Oh my god, I just shot one. It looked pretty big. It's big enough for me to shoot for sure. I have no idea what happened at all. No idea. I didn't hear him go down or anything either, so. Oh my gosh, that's scary. I don't think I got it on camera. Cool. Well, y'all, that didn't take long at all. <sighs> a little worried about that one. Um, not exactly how I planned for that to go. I maybe got that on the GoPro? Probably not. Probably was blocking it with my body, but they probably got me releasing with the GoPro, which is cool. Solid deer. Probably could have used another year if I'm being completely honest with you guys. Um, but, you know, I'm a young guy. I haven't shot any giant deer yet, and I want to. In order to start shooting giant deer, I gotta start letting deer like that one walk. Um, but definitely a good looking deer. Um, I really am honestly not sure about the shot. I'm kind of worried right now. But otherwise, I did everything else perfectly good. Um, this was a mistake. I'm still new to the camera industry, so this is the lens I'm shooting with. It's a massive 75 to 300 millimeter lens, and the zoom capability on that is really high, but also 75 millimeters is really zoomed in, so it's like two, I need a, I need to be shooting at like 50 millimeters when I'm like there, so I can just point it in this direction and just film, you know, 4K, whatever frames I'm shooting, like 60 frames. Um, but I did get some footage of the deer, which I'm really happy about that I could you know, use at some point, um, really caught me off guard there, I was not fucking expecting that, I was not expecting that, but, um, I'm gonna get down in a bit here, and, uh, check my arrow out, and see, see what's good, but, that's freaking nuts, let's, come on, let's go, come on, baby, alright, y'all, I, uh, decided to head out of there, come back to the crib, uh, give the deer some time, cause I wasn't 100% sure about the shot there, um, I think it was a good call. Just give the deer some time just in case. I'm going to go back over pretty soon here. Um, we'll have given him three hours by then. I'll go back in with my bow ready to, ready to rock just in case. And um, yeah, I'll see, 
see what we're, what we're working with. Blood looked a little darker, um, but I watched the video back and just hearing a solid thud, you know, that thud was good, you know, maybe puncturing, puncturing that diaphragm. Um, it's kind of the, the, uh, the sound that I was hearing uh, there. So, and that deer took off pretty hard like he was hit good. So um, I'm gonna base off my initial reaction, which was that I probably got him lungs maybe, maybe, maybe I got him in the liver. I, I don't know, we'll see. Um, we'll see when we follow the blood trail a little more. I, I want to find that arrow. Um, find the arrow. I, th I, I mean, the GoPro video, it almost sounded like he was crashing outside of frame. Like he ran across the power line, as you guys saw. And um, it almost seemed like he just crashed right, right on the other side of the power line when he exited. So I'm going to head back over there right, not right now, but very shortly here. Um, and try to figure out what happened. And hopefully we can get our hands on him. So stick with me here. Alrighty y'all, let's see, I was in uh, this tree right here, oh, y'all can see that really well, but that tree right there, deer was right here, walking I guess on this trail here, I'm assuming, and I shot him straight through here, looking for that arrow, that's our first bit of blood right here, find more blood before I move. There's more here. A little bit of blood. Not good though. Not good blood. Definitely dead now. Well, y'all, yeah, I got him. I had to unfortunately put another shot in him. Um, I shot him actually two more times just to make it quicker. Um, I just wanted to make sure I put him down quick. Uh, I feel really bad about that. First shot was actually a liver shot. Um, so it was actually just a bit back. Um, height was actually okay. Um, I'm only looking at the exit, but the exit doesn't look that bad. Um, I got a shot. I must have just barely missed, just barely missed the lungs on, um, on this deer. So I am actually really disappointed in myself for that. Um, just for that shot. Arrow went, looks like all the way through too, and somehow stayed in him. Blood trail was terrible hard to follow through all this thick stuff. He didn't go very far before bedding down and that's one thing that people should pay attention to is when you do shoot a deer and you're not sure about the shot, be very quiet getting out of there so you don't bump them. Um, and I did come back within, I came back in almost exactly three hours. I think I bumped him one time, maybe. I might not even bumped him. He might have died right there if I just left him there. Um, but just why why leave him suffer? You know, I shot him again at like it's a seven yards or something and then he tumbled off, stopped there, and he was down right here, probably expiring, um, but he still looked like he was kind of there, so I put another one to the heart, so he, I'm very, I'm almost, almost, I'm a little emotional um, with this, this deer, um, and this, this harvest, I'm really, uh, I'm really grateful for being able to find it, and that it ended up working out, but I am extremely, uh, extremely uh, sad, and I really am sorry for this deer and what I put it through, so learning from my mistakes, I'm learning, I'm just learning, just trying to learn and get better and better and better and trying to do better, um, so yeah, I'll uh, get him out of there, get him drug out, get him gutted, and uh, try and turn the mood around here, I'm a little on the depressed side of things, I gotta stop being so pessimistic, things did work out for me here, um, even though they didn't go as planned. They did work out. I am extremely grateful and fortunate for this deer to have uh, given me such a, neat, a great opportunity to harvest him. And I'm very, very sorry for having put that animal through that. So, yeah, let's, I'm going to get to work.
you. Oh, it's a big body deer, though. Here's the. Oh, that's gross. There's the kill arrow. Here's. Big body. He's so stinky because I they put a pretty bad shot on him, but that's a nice looking deer. I want to see the entry side. Yeah, I mean it's not the worst shot in the world, not great, really, but oh. yeah, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad shot. As you can see, back, far back, but good looking buck. I am not gonna complain about that. I'm stoked to got a buck this good on opening day. Opening day here in Pennsylvania, archery season with a bow. Solid eight point, just standard, classic. Big body, I mean, he could be three. Might just be a two year old, but Got a cool look to him, real chocolate horns, solid tines. Cool looking buck, I mean, I'm soaked. I definitely made a mess on the inside, no liver harvest. Heart's probably a mess too, I'll get what I can. Tendies are probably screwed. Oh, I didn't even bring a bag for that stuff. But, I'm just glad that I got him. Look at how tall that brow is. It's a good looking deer, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, so. Oh man, I'm really fortunate to have gotten this guy, but I feel really bad about that, like, I should have come here and I hit, just bad shot, bad shot, I rushed it a little bit, you can tell in the video, I'll show that now, that I just rushed the shot a little bit too much on him, and uh, that didn't work out for me, but definitely a good looking buck, he's like at the ears with wise, nothing crazy, but great thickness on him it's a classic eight point buck you know nice brow though brows are good classic pennsylvania eight pointer big body big old body boys big buck down man. big buck down